So uh, this is another song off the Lanterns album. Um, this one, next few songs actually, I wrote about my uh, my little brother who passed away at an early age of an uh, accidental overdose type situation uh, on his birthday it was t about 12 years ago last week. Um, it was a hard week. I was on the road. I had a show almost every day, and uh, it really got me through playing these songs. And I'm not trying to, I don't, I'm not telling you this story as like a, a commercial type thing. It's just a sort of cathartic thing for me to talk about it in front of people because it's, well, it's hard, you know. Yeah, normally I avoid that kind of thing. I'm a people pleaser. I like to, I want to make you laugh. I want to, you know, make a joke, whatever. But um, the story behind this song, which I think is really cool, this was one of the last songs I wrote for the album. And, um, I go, I go home to see my folks in Maine uh, once or twice a year, and uh, when I do, I stay, I stay with my mom, and uh, usually, and uh, I don't know how to explain this. So my room, he, he was five years younger than me, so my room, when I left after high school to go become a, a wild rock star type dude, <laughs> um, he took my room when he was in high school. So he took down all my Beatles posters and he put up like skiing posters and stuff because he was like a sports guy. And uh, so that's the room I stay in. So it's kind of like our room, you know, it's, and it feels good. It feels good to be in there, but it feels kind of scary. It feels kind of melancholy. It's kind of a, it's always a very calming feeling to be there. I think anytime you go home, no matter how old you are to where you grew up, it always just kind of has that effect on you. And, um, yeah, thank you. Uh, so, I was there visiting for about a week, and I had, I was packing up to leave, and I, I always do the stupid check. As a musician, you learn you have to always check every little nook and cranny, because there's probably a shoe under there or something that you're going to leave. And I looked under the bed, and there was a piece of paper. And I'm not making this up. And I, I take the piece of paper out. Uh, and it's, a, it's like this big. And it was a uh, sort of 1998, circa 1998, like dot matrix, inkjet kind of thing, like printout of a of a dragon. Um, and it was it was sort of very meticulously colored in with colored pencils. So like it was green, and his tongue was red, and you know the whole thing. And then at the top in pencil, it said to Howie, love Andrew, was my brother, and. My first thought was like, how come my mom hasn't cleaned this room? <laughs> so I'm kind of shaking, I'm like shaking and I'm holding it and I'm, I'm like, what the fuck, this is so cool. It's so weird, like, mom, what are you doing? Uh, so I take it down to her and she was like, I've cleaned that room so many times, everything's in this special bin. You know, the memories, she's like, I've, I've, I've changed that bed, I've cleaned under that bed, I've, you know, all that kind of stuff. I don't even, I went to CERN, I don't believe in that shit. You know? <laughs> but it was, uh, it was, it was moving, you know, because, of course, my mom was like, it's him talking to you, and I was like, no, 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 no maybe. It was a bit weird, but it, regardless, the experience of life, and it's so short, and, it, it, and for, for him, it was even shorter. And uh, I don't think anyone's sending us signals from anywhere else. That's not my belief. Maybe it's yours. But the signal for me at that moment meant something. And so I, I took the experience and, and, and put the idea into a song. And uh, so here it is. It's called Worry. <laughs> Then I found it 
living in the dust Amid your favorites You didn't know If you caught me in a lie